and appearing tonight on... Roy Kinnear. Kakoon. John Duncan. Preston Cook. Keith Barron. Wendy Richard. And here's your host on... Les Dawson. Thank you, I'm deeply moved. <laughs> Forgive me if I'm not my usual effervescent self, but I had to see the BBC doctor today. I walked into his surgery, I coughed and I spluttered. He said, flu, I said, no, I came up in the lift. <laughs> he said, what's wrong? I said, I've got spots on my chest. He said, do you eat potatoes? I said, yes, he said, it's tater ash. <laughs> <laughs> Everything pales into insignificance when we get to the show that really matters. Blankety blank, yes. The show that's given the whole new meaning to the word piffle. <laughs> we have prizes on this show that are so throat gripping <laughs> that the people who win never even see the pawn tickets. <laughs> Blankety blank. And let's, no more preamble, let's meet our distinguished panel of celebrities. First of all, Mr. Roy Kinnear. He's an actor of many parts, all lumped into one. <laughs> The only man I know whose trousers seat three. <laughs> Pat Coombs. Wonderful. She just turned down a remake of the film The King and I, and I don't blame her. Why should she have her head shaved? <laughs> John Junkin, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> for many years, John Junkin was wardrobe master for Tarzan. <laughs> Some of his scripts have now become worldwide. Some of his comedy scripts for shows like Doom Watch <laughs> will live forever. Kirsten Cook. <laughs> if I'd have said that wrong, this place would be off the air now. <laughs> Keith Barron. Keith Barron. <laughs> of course, that wonderful star of that great series, of course, Duty Free. But people don't know that for many years, Keith played Shakespeare, but of course they pulled the pub down now. <laughs> <laughs> Wendy Richards. <laughs> She's hopefully shortly to start in a new series called The EastEnders, which will be a sort of Emmerdale farm with eels. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go over now and meet our sterling competitors. First of all, Pat. Hello, Let's talk Liz. to you, Pat. May I kiss you? You may. <laughs> <laughs> Pat Wake, you're married with two daughters, Isabel and Vanessa. That's right. Your husband is a policeman. And as the policeman said to the hole in the road, evening hole. <laughs> <laughs> now, you used to be a store detective, didn't you? That's right, yeah. That's not an easy job, you know. Not every time and Harry can be a dick. <laughs> <laughs> Terrible, that, wasn't it? I used yes. to be a private eye, you know. This one was a pupil. <laughs> I saw one of the most baffling mysteries ever known, the case of the mysterious applause in the burial chamber. <coughs> that became known as who crept in the crypt and clapped and crept out again. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me something about your life. About my That's life. That's enough. <laughs> now, let's be <laughs> now, it's Paul. Paul Prescott. You're from Redditch in Worcestershire. Arr. Married to Carol with three stepsons, Dean, Darren and Wayne. Yes, You also have two children of your own, don't you? Yes, Ashley and Kirsty. Pardon? Ashley and Kirsty. No, I thought you came from Redditch. <laughs> <laughs> Paul works for a company that makes springs for parachutes. That's right. It's a very responsible job, that, you know. One wrong move and you're up for the high jump. <laughs> <laughs> it I says here that you're afraid of heights. That's right. Are you really afraid of that? Yes. What a job like that? Yeah, get air sick walking on the pavement. <laughs> <laughs> listen, listen. <laughs> for what few laughs there are tonight, I'm going to... <laughs> Now, it's your turn. I remember one thing about this show. What's that? Ladies always. Right. No male chauvinism in this. Yeah, good. I wish you all the best, the pair of you. <clears throat> Enjoy the show for what it is. <laughs> Banal. 